On today's video, I'm gonna cover satellite communications. There are four satellite companies. There are three I'm gonna cover specifically. There's a fourth I'll mention that covers the Middle East, parts of Africa, and Europe. Those are Iridium, which is truly global. Global Star, which covers uh, parts of North America, Europe, and a few other areas around the world. It's just missing the poles and a few other parts. Inmarsat, which is global minus the poles. And I'm gonna probably butcher this name, Thuraya, which again is the section that just covers the Middle East and Africa and parts of Europe and Australia. Types of units, there are mobile phones. Those are ones that are fixed in vehicles. Handheld phones, which you see some examples of here. Tracking devices for hiking. And that's what we have here in InReach Mini. Handheld two-way radios, that's like the ICOM Iridium collaboration. Mobile two-way radios, and they have those for vehicles. Usually those are reserved for uh, shipping, aircraft, or emergency uh, services. And text-only units with options for GEOS. And this is the same thing with here. Uh, it is a text option with GEOS. The other option you have are emergency beacons. You have manual beacons, like on these two here, they have a physical button that you can press and it will activate the GEOS uh, search and rescue system. And then you also have ones that are automatic. Those are on boats, on ships, where if they start to get wet, if they sense water, they have a little connector. If the water closes that connection, then it activates that beacon and then that beacon transmits a satellite signal back to GEOS, whoever it might be that you're looking at for your provider. Pros and cons of each one of these. Iridium, a big pro is it's truly global. That means truly pole to pole all the way around. Voice text and two-way talk groups if you go with the push to talk options. Very fast to register on the network. Lots of system redundancy. Satellites are moving in a constellation network for Iridium, which gives you a very high chance of being able to get a signal. And the con for Iridium, it is definitely the most expensive option, but if you are making an investment into a communication option to use away from cellular networks or hard lines, Iridium, in my view, is definitely the best one to go with. Global Star, it is the most affordable handset and it has inexpensive plans. The network coverage is smaller than Iridium. It uses 24 satellites. The handsets are less rugged and it is much slower to register on the network, on the satellite network. Inmarsat, some pros for Inmarsat are global minus the poles. So if you're not gonna do polar stuff, that's a huge plus. Smaller hand units, this is the, these are the two main ones from Iridium. Inmarsat has theirs and it's much, it's smaller with a little color screen. The other perk is the Inmarsat handsets. You can get some of them for half the price of these two handsets. But again, you're getting a very high quality rugged handset when you're looking at these. What are some cons? Some cons are slower to register on the satellite network. MRSAT has three stationary satellites, maybe four at this point, and you have to move to get to the satellite. Iridium, the satellite moves to you to get a connection. That's the quick overview of satellite communications. Um, this, they're basically, uh, for the most part, like Nokia phones, old Nokia phones from the early 2000s with your texting options and those kind of things. The um, perk of the extreme that I really like is you have a push to talk option, not on this one, but on one of the models. And so this gives you a very rugged phone. It gives you an SOS button that you can press. And it also gives you, if you choose the push to talk version, gives you two-way radio back and forth. And the battery lasts a very long time. I've had nearly two days on a battery with minimal talk time, probably like max combined 30 minutes of talk time and quite a few texts going in and out. And they're just really good phones. I'm a huge fan of Iridium. Inmarsat has its place. It's an affordable phone that lets you have an option to get out in the world and be able to talk. 
I hope this is helpful if you're looking at phones. I'm a huge fan of Rode Post, and I'm gonna put a link to them in the description so you can go and see what they have to offer. I've looked at other satellite phone providers and uh, have not been pleased with them uh, when I've tried to talk to them about stuff. Rode Post has the best customer service. Um, their prices are a little higher on some of their accessories. And you can look at other options for accessories, but if you are looking at a provider for the phone itself and a provider to be your, your minutes, then I definitely recommend Road Post. Thank you for watching.